live on the captain's log. Thank you. Anthony Rodia, Goomba Johnny. Can you guys introduce yourself in the back? This is like a whole crowd. I should have bought a bus today, you know? Should have. I should have bought a big bus. Anthony's sharing this on his Facebook. Yeah, so where are you going to go? Uh, yeah, go to Brian Spina. You know, I was trying to do this at the head of time. Yeah, I know. You're, you're like, you know. It's it's early. Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. And then you scroll down till you see us and you're good. Perfect. So we uh, we just left iHeartRadio 105.5 The Beat. You're in town, you and Goomba Johnny at Off The Hook Comedy Club. That's why yes. you, you don't like me that much to come be on my podcast. You just want to come and play the club. I so actually enjoyed your podcast you last did. night. You did. You asked. You asked. You texted me. Can we do it? Yes. Which was, to me, it felt very good. I was excited. Did you feel warm inside? A little bit. Yeah, I did. I like when I make people feel warm inside. Yeah, it was a thing. You know, I... And Goomba Johnny, this is your second appearance. How you doing back there, buddy? I'm doing good, dude. You didn't get a text from me asking to be on. No, you didn't care. <laughs> you didn't give a rat's ass about my show. Johnny's hard to please, Son man. Son of a god, I yeah, tell no. you what, though. That's Johnny's hard to please. That's why I'm, si that's why I'm sitting in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, we're going to be at Off The Hook. You can get tickets off the hookcomedy.com. Tell them how they can find you on, on Instagram because you do the Road Rage Wednesdays, which one, one of my favorite things on all of social media. I love really? it. Really? Yeah, I love it. Thank I love you. it. I get happy when I'm running post. out of things to say. You know, I'm thinking to myself, like, he, no, you're not. he, you come up with a lot of great skits, but what happened? So now, I mean, instead of just doing road rage, like, I'll throw the wife in, in the mix. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. I just don't want it to be just a guy flipping out on the road every time. Yeah. But uh, it's, I mean, I think it's, I think we're up to 68. Rage Wednesdays, which is phenomenal. It's a lot of road rage. It is. <laughs> I really need anger management. I, just... I love the way you always turn into like where you're trying to talk, and then you're telling somebody on the phone that you're not really talking to them. With that little thing that you do is no, crazy. it's 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 listen, it's it's crazy, man. And then I start referring to my characters as different people. Like, I've actually gotten into an argument with my wife, and then I wanted to say something to her that was really <laughs> mean. As and the I, character, and I said it as Uncle Vinny. I Text message. Well, you get away with it. Yeah, Uncle Vinny gets away with yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you that's know? true. And Zia Lucci, I mean, who's gonna yell at an older Italian woman? Nobody. <laughs> you know. My wife said, "Can you stop sending me videos of your characters asking me to be nice to you?" Well, so, I had an important question. You can answer this or not, but oh, you can hit me with when anything. When you do the when you do the the uh, the filter for the big face because that's yeah. adorable. What's gonna happen when that goes away? It's not. Well, how do you know? Snapchat got a, got wind of me doing my character. And a create one of the creators of Snapchat um, said he's a big fan, loves the characters, so they sent me a downloadable lens for my phone. So I always have. It. I love it. Snapchat can literally go away, and I'll still have the characters. I love it. I love it because yeah. I was worried for you. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I wouldn't even be that mad if they no, got rid of it. No, you're just as handsome no. with or without the. the well, I pre. Filter. Well, you said adorable. I'd yeah. rather be adorable. Yeah, Adorable's yeah. loved by all. <laughs> um, but no, if they got rid of the characters, it, it would definitely free up a lot of time in my life. I wouldn't, because I get I, I get threats, man. It's seven o'clock. Where's your road rage Wednesday? Yeah. Where is your hobby or your job? Where right. Where's that? Yeah, that they yell at me. That you know? is understandable though, because people want that content. It's kind of like yeah. Netflix when they release a a new series, people are gonna binge it the whole time, right? It's it's crazy. So I've, I've got that. a very lovable slash obsessive slash passionate slash crazy uh, fan base, and I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for anything. So Anthony Rodia is my guest on the Captain's Log. Thank you, for guys. But listen, a question: You were here what six seven months ago? What a difference! That's what I mean. I gotta know how. Yeah. What's what's happening? Like the changes. I can't, even, I can't put my finger on it anymore. Yeah. Like six months ago, we did what one show? Right. And we're doing six. We're doing six. And we've got great crowds every every night. I mean, yeah. it's I, I tell Johnny all the time. Um, the first eight months of it, I was able to gauge it. Hi Jess, how are you? I'm like I'm like all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna get these many followers. That now it's just it's blowing up. I, I can't keep track of it, which is great. You don't I mean, need you, to keep you, track. You nah, just need to create content. No, nah, but I'm I'm, I'm I'm anal with that man. Like no, like I get people that message me and they're like, oh, is it really you messaging me? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'll never. I don't care if I've got five million following. I will never let anybody else touch my social media. Right. I, won't, I get management teams all the time reaching out. We want to. We want to. You know. We want to run your social media. I'm like, yeah, no. But that's not the same as you doing it because well, that's where everyone touches base. Correct. They connect with you. Well, yeah. But this, part of the, part of the secret to the success is how personable I am with my. I don't even look at them as fans. It's like I have 
two hundred thousand Italian cousins that yep. I never knew about yep. before, and they just and they feel the same off. way. I know they do because <clears throat> even watching this show, people when they see me around town, they think that uh, like they're part of the you know part yeah. of the whole thing. So yeah, you it. now you're nationwide, so everyone feels like they're part of the family. Yeah, and just as long as they don't just come by my house unexpected, they they could they could make me. You know, would you still cook them pasta? I would probably listen. I'm I'm very like I, I love having com company. Yeah. I come from a big Italian family. Right. I mean, one of our family parties, if it's like a barbecue or a birthday, is 90 people, and that's yeah. you know. And then people that are friends with us would come and go. This is all family. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. It's kind of light. A couple people at we, parties. <laughs> but we so used if to you do that on Sunday, people look at us yeah. like we're crazy. Like, is this Easter? I'm like, no, this is no. Every this Sunday. is just a barbecue or yeah. or, a, or a Sunday lunch. And so if you came to my house unexpected. My wife would probably call the cops and I would probably throw the grill on. My <laughs> wife's like, stop being so naive. They're going to rob us and kidnap our daughter. Oh my like, God. she gets worried now because I put my daughter on a lot. She's like, stop putting Gabriella on. They're, someone's going to kidnap her. I'm like, have you been with our daughter? They'll yeah. bring her back. Yeah, she talks to me. She'll be back in five minutes. They'll be like, listen, we took the wrong kid. Here, we want somebody a little quieter. <laughs> right. So you have a podcast now as well. Yeah, every Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. Every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. You do it live. Also. With Goomba Johnny that's hiding Goomba behind my head. Johnny. Goes, Johnny. Poke your head out, Johnny, Captain you Tangerine. You are very orange today. Yes, I am. I like the name, the Tangerine Uncle. You should have sat in the middle. My sister stole your spot. That's your sister has no interest at all. My sister couldn't give two shits about <laughs> this podcast. She's on her phone. She's like, I got to get to CVS. Yeah. My contact fell out. Yeah, my dogs <laughs> yeah. need a new appointment. <laughs> they need a play date. You heard, she, see, I'm glad I, I had that. you guys. She's on the phone with her husband before, and she's like, yeah, okay, so Chuck went to work with you. <laughs> oh, you left Maddie in the daycare? Yeah, well, that's good. Maddie should be in the daycare. I because thought they were kids. She, she, needs to, she needs to learn how to socialize with others. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you have two French bulldogs. You don't have kids. <laughs> Who what dog socializes? Oh my god! She gets very vicious around others. She needs to learn how to socialize. Do you cook dinner for him as well? No. You don't make little meals? No. I'm disappointed. She acts like that's crazy. I'm disappointed. But yeah, she wants no, her dog she, to socialize. She gave me like the too look, like seriously, I'm yeah. gonna cook for them. It's too much work. No, I'll take her to the daycare, let him play. Quick shout out to <laughs> Rosalie Massaro, <laughs> waiting to order my tickets for St. George at 10 a.m. Yes, yeah, St. George tickets. Go on sale for the public at 10 a.m. You don't need a code. 10 a.m. They go on sale. St. George, May 2nd. Me, Goomba Johnny, Tarek and Estracy, and I have a special pre-show performance for all you Staten Islanders, you Staten Island Guidos. Uh, the king of freestyle, George Lamont, will be doing a concert. I uh, saw that the at, the, at the theater, right? It's crazy. So what happened when you sold out your first like major venue? Did you literally think you made it or did you just shit yourself I'll, I'll and be know, like, what I'll, the heck? I'll never think I made it. Like, yeah. Everyone's like, oh my God, dude, you're so big. I'm like, no, I still have so much work to do. Like Johnny, Johnny noticed something about me when we first met. He's like, man, you, you, you have laser beam vision. And when I when I put my eye, like, I get bored of a lot of things. Same. I went from job to job. Yep. I try something, I accomplish it, I move on. Comedy, you can never get bored of. You can't get bored of anything that you have a full passion for. So when I put my eye, like I, I aim my sights at something, I can't stop. So with this, it's like six months ago, I was selling out 150 person venues, you know, theaters and comedy clubs. Then it went up to 300. Right. Then it went up to 400. Now we're on the verge of selling out Foxwoods, uh, April 4th, Amazing. over, over 1,300. Uh, St. George Theater is 1,900. We're, we're on the verge of selling out next week. At, Katie in says MGM in Springfield. Chicago. She can't wait. Yes, Katie, I'll You're be the there March 6th. Anthony six. from Jennifer. Thank you Thanks, for watching, Jen. guys. We appreciate you tuning um, in on the Captain's Log. If you like the show, by the way, give us a great rating, iTunes, Stitcher, wherever, SoundCloud, say hello. But uh, Thank you, Trish. Levity Live, I'll be back at the oh, uh, yeah, end of May. Levity Live's great, right? Yeah, that, that, so Levity Live and Caroline's. Right, John? I would say were the first two major sellouts that we had. I think Caroline's was a big moment. Yeah. For, 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 I mean, I actually, when I saw that, that you posted that it was sold out, did you do two shows? Sold No, sold out on a Tuesday. A two, Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday it, night in Manhattan. Right. And, and I Crazy. said, holy cow, dude. Even they didn't remember the last time anybody sold out on yeah. Tuesday night. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. It's just, you know what it is now? It's, it's, it was a big deal. In I'm, just, I'm basically sitting back and just watching this grow myself. It's, it's, it's crazy. But like I said, you, when you get into this business, you hope for This is good, what you want. Right, but you hope for It just doesn't things. happen. No. Uh -huh. you, it doesn't happen. Everybody wants it. Like, everybody that does it, this is what they try to do. Yeah, and you want good fans. I have amazing fans. My fans are absolutely loyal. 
Um, like I'll get one person, like I post a video, thing gets a million views. Yeah. Everybody's commenting. One guy goes, I don't see what, I don't know what you guys find funny. This right. Is yeah. Oh, that guy must have got They blasted. get attacked. Of course. Oh my God. I hope your parents beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I don't even have to say anything. Right. Right. Yeah. That's great because everyone's in your kitchen. They're like your family when they're yeah, on there. They really you know? are. Yeah. What's next? What are you doing? Breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. breakfast. Um, I brought you breakfast. You told me you're on a diet. Dunkin' Donuts is not breakfast. Well, yeah. it's what America runs on. Yeah, but well, not that's why America's not running so well. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Now listen, uh, Dunkin' Donuts is is not breakfast. I'll go for a great latte or a coffee, yeah. but I can't. I've watched them make the food. Yeah, they, it's done. They take eggs out of a drawer. Right, right. And right. then they put yeah. the eggs on top of where, bacon. Where are you going to go for breakfast? I don't know. Okay. I would recommend you live here. I do right. recommend. My favorite place is the Rooster. Right. Uh, phenomenal chef driven what breakfast. About Perkins? The Rooster. Even. Don't no, even but skillet. Perkins? What do you want to go to Olive yeah. Garden? You're talking about Dunkin' Donuts. Right. I mean, that Dunkin' have Donuts. Perkins. Sorry, Perkins. Perkins is hey, basically look, I just threw it out soy. There, all right? Everything not... in it is soy that they basically just put to a different look and in flavor. But yeah. the main ingredient is imitation food called soy. Uh big shout out uh Trish Cut Cut Braze. It's right next to We me. are uh we're in Naples, Florida right now. We got shows all weekend. Jessica Sorrell uh, Anthony, you got to do a show in Australia. We're actually planning three shows in Australia: Sydney, Melbourne, and Perth. Oh, you need a tour manager. I should, you know, make sure that everything runs smooth along the way. Wow, if that's not a self plug. <laughs> You just dove right in there. I'll take care of you. You know how much, much family I have? If I gave a tour manager job to someone that wasn't family, <laughs> I would get my, would my uncle. My uncle has nothing, no no knowledge of managing a tour. They would, oh, why I can't why be. Why is it me? Why I can't be your tour manager? I'm a retarded. <laughs> no, you're retired. You're not retarded. You're retired. I can do it for you, I can plan your trips. That's you know, great. I could come with you to. My father called me and goes, how how you like your nipples? I, like, I love nipples. Um, <laughs> Naples is also very enjoyable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gotta come and see nipples. I wanna. I like you spending some time in the nipples. Well, then take off your shirt, Dad. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I like what they uh, say. Yeah, I know. I I, I know the business. I lo I like to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could be your manager. Why you yeah. never see your father laugh? Watch you go. Ha ha! I know comedy. No, that was. If that's how you laugh, and you shouldn't laugh ever again. How much of the accent is? Actually, superimposed. What? Right no, it's right. What? Off. It's right. Exact. What? Yeah. Right off. I listen. I did. Oh my God! If my father, just, if you guys tell Daddy how to get on Facebook Live and he sees this, I'll choke you. Because even you guys don't know this. I was the cause of my dad replacing three answer machines. I left him a message mimicking his outgoing message. <laughs> and he couldn't I called up, I go, yeah, you reach a Tony Rodier residence. I'm in home right now. Leave a message, I'll call you back. <laughs> to the T. And every time so he, he goes, oh, how the hell I leave my message <laughs> on my message? I go, what? <laughs> yeah, my, uh, the oh message my I, now he can't just say outgoing message. He goes, the message I leave for you to hear was the message I hear when I come home and check on my message. I go, I don't, I don't know how that's going. No, no, the accent is spot. Oh my god, um, there is no. I would die. Some of my stories might be imposed a yeah. little bit or, or exaggerated to, yeah. to a T, but his accent, no, no. One lady came to my show. She goes, I want, I want to meet your dad. She goes, because I don't think he really talks like that. Yeah. I go, really? I go, he's right here. She goes, hi, Mr. O.D. He goes, oh, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure, all mine. <laughs> he actually says pleasure's all mine before you say it's my pleasure. <laughs> so he'll go, nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. And she it's goes, she goes, do you, do you get, it doesn't bother you that a lot of your stuff your son uses in his act? He goes, it bothered me. No, I love the fact that I could be my son's perspiration. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to make me sweat? I go, you believe me now? Huh? She goes, oh my God, it's, it's like it's weird. It's bad. It's great though. Yeah. How great is that? It writes itself. Oh, it really does. It's he's amazing. Even, he's even better in person. No, he's yeah, better no in person. Idea. You got to figure out how to parlay that, like oh, do even more. We had yeah. him on our podcast. Yeah. yeah. The response Best. was oh, ridiculous. You, you should have him on the podcast 
as every day. Shut up, Brian. He needs right. to be on Shut every up, day. Shut up, Brian. Don't do this to me. No. He'll create no. no. Once a month, that's it. It's enough. I'll do it once a month. Every time because he's on the he podcast. calls me now. He goes, hey, when's the next time you need me in the studio? I said, no, no, Dad. Dad, let me explain something to you. Don't ever say that again because you. I don't want you knowing the lingo. Then he's talking to friends. And he goes, I was talking to a friend of mine. And he said, because you use a lot of you father... And you act. I gotta tell you. But you owe me some type yeah, of novelty. He's gotta, yeah, he's I go, gotta first get of all, it's, it's not payout. novelty, it's royalties. It's, I don't even know how to pay somebody in novelties. <laughs> novelty! You mean to buy your novels? No, he didn't. 100%. Did he say novelty? Yes. He doesn't oh prove things. Oh my think. god. That is so great. And what, is, what has he done for a living his whole life? Carpenter. He's in construction Carpenter. and okay. landscaping all his life. Oh my god. You father's hands to show hard work. You hands to show you a little goddamn bitch. You never touch <laughs> nothing. He goes, look how soft your hands are, like a baby ass. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Dad, sorry that my hands aren't full of, like, what is it, calluses? Yeah, he's all callus. All callus. I go, your hands, are, you can literally well, sand he's a man. wood. He can sand wood bare Yeah. <laughs> it's like a built in luva. It, and, he, <laughs> and then my father tries to get dirty to joke around, so he goes, the only thing, close your ears, bro. the only thing wrong with the fact that your father's hands are so rough, I can never touch my own stuff because I scratch. <laughs> I scratch it all it's a, thing. It's instantly uh, derm abrasion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but it's crazy, man. That's Listen, he, he's awesome. Uh, my mom, you know, I, I try to leave her out of skits because uh, I, I tormented her whole life. But it's funny because my parents, and a lot of people don't notice, my parents are divorced. They've oh. been divorced since I was 19. Uh, and it's rare to see an off-the-boat Italian family divorced. True. Because you walk into a house that's married for 40 years. And I'm like, hey, what's up? Why do you look upset? Because this bitch is still alive. I'm like, oh, <laughs> all right. I didn't, I didn't, you know, that they, you know you could get divorced. It's too expensive. I ain't not going to spend the money. So my, my, and it's funny because. Wait, I, they haven't been together, but they're not really divorced. No, they're divorced. Oh, all right. No, my parents are divorced. They they bump heads. I mean, they get along, I guess, but they bump heads. Like they just, it's that stubbornness. But it's funny because I say that my mom came here, and eventually her accent, she lost it, and my father's accent got worse. It's like she gave him her portion of the accent that she lost. I think and my his, parents too from Boston. You no, know, his words got so like so bad. I'm like, what are you? Are you only speaking to immigrants? He goes, I talk. To people that I can't understand in me. I go, all right, that, that explains it. So he, I said, once his accent got worse, I think my mother had enough. Oh, oh and she God. was like, I can't even argue with you properly because I don't understand what the hell you're saying. Oh my God. But he's been here for years, right? Yeah, yeah. He's been here since, I mean, I don't know. You would since, never know it. No. And that's my parents the same way. Yeah. My parents live in Florida now for 25 years. They sound like they literally still live in South Boston. But like, you listen, your Boston I, comes out too. No way. Oh, what? Oh, yes. No, what? it's not like that. No, but your Boston comes out, a hundred percent. I can't. Yeah, you're like, oh, I, what, what cat? What cat did you rent? I feel like. And then it's you, I so think, I think gone. you, you hear it come out, and then you try to hide it. Do you think my accent come out still, yeah, guys? Yes. Can you hear it? You just said it. But I want to hear you it. You think my accent come out? They <laughs> Should we put back in the right. back? What bar do you want to go? Right. You guys want to go to a bar? This is a nice cat. Is it? And then, but when you say it, it's like you catch it, and then you act like you had something in your throat. You're like, oh yeah, what cat? <laughs> what car? What car did you? I try. I I do try. You do. I do try. It to... comes out though. It comes out. It's it come so out? to me so not like a thing anymore. Like it used to be. You're gonna get death threats by a wow. lot of Boston Knights. Wow. You want? Yeah. yeah. Right. Own your accent. So if you guys don't know already, uh, you can follow Anthony on Instagram. It's what Rodia Comedy. What is it? What's your Instagram? I'm so bad at this. Uh, Instagram is at Rodia Comedy. Yeah. Uh, Facebook is Anthony Rodia Comedy. Yep. YouTube is Rodia Comedy. Twitter is Rodia Comedy. And you're and never I, gonna be let down, guys. It's always funny. It's thank always you, bro. fun. Uh, it's actually like positive, uplifting, fun stuff. Um, yeah. If you no, want, it is. If you, like it is. If you want to call a, a husband and wife arguing nonstop, but that's uplifting. cute because I yeah. mean those relationships, like a lot of people that do connect. They're right. still together. Like, they still have that every day, right? 100%. Yeah. I go, I go, my parents every day. You go to my aunt and uncle's house, and as soon as you walk in, if you don't say anything and they don't know they have a... I mean, you'll... you'll Any Italian house, you'll hear, Yeah? Why don't you just roll around and die? Sat him a bitch. And I'm like, what's the matter? Nothing. She don't want to make me pasta. Right. I want a whole wheat pasta. <laughs> I want a regular pasta. I'm like, right. that's what this argument exactly. is about? Exactly. 
Exactly. But it's it's listen. You come from any off the boat family, whatever nationality you That's are. That's what it, it is. It's passion. That's it. It's passion. Everything yeah. I do in my comedy, it's passion. It's what you're brought up with. You know, and then if you got your ass kicked growing up, it, it's even better than you really, it just, really. And it resonates across any nationality, right? That's like, what I didn't expect. Yeah. That, that was my shock. My surprise, I'll get people coming now that are Portuguese, that are Argentinian, that are Russian. Russian people are, are different, though. I don't know if they should be allowed in comedy. Because I had a Russian guy literally sit in the front row. The guy didn't laugh at all. And he comes up to me after the show. He goes, Great show. You're very funny. Yeah. I go, what? <laughs> Tell your face that. I said, you, you didn't laugh. I laugh on inside. I'm like, <laughs> we're Russian. We don't laugh outside. I'm like, what the We fuck? don't want to show that we're weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. I think so. Yeah, no, we no, are strong people. In our I business, don't... I do see a lot of Russians and Lithuanian, Yukos. But then I get the funny ones. Like I had a, a Puerto Rican guy come up to me in Yonkers, and he goes, J "This is all he, says. he comes up. He goes, hey.' I go, "What's up? I am Puerto Rican." I go, "Oh, all right. I'm Italian." No, no, no. I even know Italian. I said, "I got that." When you said you were Puerto Rican, <laughs> just told I like I like your stuff. Your comedy is very funny. Oh my god, <laughs> you're very good. You're very funny. You mother, you father, you you know, you uncle Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why are you dancing? And he goes, "I know you don't have to be Italian to like your comedy. Very funny." <laughs> <laughs> and he walks away. I went, what the fuck was that? What the? Right. But it, it's it's nice to see that the comedy spreads. You know, listen, I love my Italian audience, but let it let it spread. But they don't want to share. You no. have to, when when I when I sometimes I'll announce. I'll go, hey, round of applause if you're not Italian. And people clap, and then the Italians in the audience are like. <laughs> what are they doing here? Yeah. No, this is it? not a family party. <laughs> it's it's a fucking comedy show. That's great. Yeah. That's great. All right, guys. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Uh, your sister was thank amazing. You. She she really, she's awesome. I mean, she's yeah. a natural. She really tore. And it nobody up. even knows, but there's a guy sitting behind you, my brother. Why don't you poke your head in here, <laughs> yeah. Rob? Rob, Hello. there he is. Yeah. Little family vacay. Stop stealing all the thunder, Rob. Back yeah. there, you know. This is Anthony. I mean, show. let us What's talk. You? Let What's us talk, people. You? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the Captain's Log. Love and you we guys. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Thank you.